What is up YouTube? I need to tell you guys something. I'm not going to work today. Oh, that's good, that's good. Yeah, that's so good. Hmm. The stop gaming. I know. Because it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's too addicting. All right, guys, what's up, YouTube? So I'm here right now. I'm here in LAX. Uh, if you guys remember, a year ago, they flew. I got flown out to Portland, Oregon to actually film at Treehouse. But what happened is that another company is actually flying me out to San Francisco today to go to a conference. They're doing an unveiling of this insane technology that these developers have made in San Jose. So it's pretty cool I even get to get flown out to go there today. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through security real quick. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so I'm here inside LAX right now. Um, I'm waiting for my flight. Uh, usually when you come to LAX, one thing to note is that you have to come here like three hours in advance. You come here three hours in advance because the, the line's gonna be really long, but I came here way too early. Yeah, so what's happening is that there's a company called Shadow, and you can check them out right now at shadow.tech. They're flying me out to San Jose pretty much to actually go ahead and, and check out what they're building and this technology that the developers made, and it's pretty amazing. And so my goal, because there's gonna be some big people coming there, Twitch streamers, there's gonna be some big YouTubers over there, but my main goal, right, are to talk to the developers who actually made the product. So hopefully I can find these people. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wait for my plane, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's not an animal. <laughs> it never was, right? No, it never was. No, no, no. Alright guys, so I'm here on the plane right now heading to San Jose. Uh, so I'll see you guys when I get there. Just landed here in San Jose Airport. Something if you guys don't know about me, I um, actually grew up here. My dad has his own business in downtown San Francisco. And who would have known that I'd ever find a company that would fly me out here just to make a video of their event. That's kind of crazy, right? I'm currently waiting for my Uber to come. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well. No. This looks so nice, what the heck? Oh dang, I wonder how the bed feels like, man. Oh my gosh, man, this bed is so comfortable. What the heck? For the few hundred people who will see this, I just want to show you how legit this hotel room is. It's not the biggest one, but it's pretty nice. Check this out. Just to start off the bathroom, man. So this is the nice bathroom right here. Nice shower. Who's that guy? Hey, why is this dirty? Comes with the nice fridge, no microwave, but that's all good. Coffee, um, and this is the room, man. This is where the magic happens. I mean, look at this. This is so nice, dude. Like, I don't. Anyways, the only reason that I'm here, the only reason people are willing to sponsor me is because of you guys. So, 
Thank you for all the love. Life is good. That's life. This is crazy guys. This is insane man. I mean, never once in my life would I have ever imagined or thought that a company, first it was Treehouse, it flew me to Portland, Oregon, and then this tech company and now building something pretty amazing in this gaming industry and to have a company fly me all the way out here to San Jose, Marriott Hotel, just to have a king size bed, a nice suite, and, <laughs> and it's crazy to think about it because all of this literally started because I decided to learn code and secondly, and I wanted to build a YouTube channel simply so I can document my journey and encourage people and let people know that you could become a developer in this industry. I just wanted to help people and in result, dang. You know what's even more crazy guys? Just let me move a little closer. That's not even what I want to tell you. This, something even bigger happened and I think it's time for me to share with you. Um, what I really do want to talk about um, is, I mean, yeah, I mean, well, if you just go back to my IG story, man, um, I'm excited. First of all, I'm really happy. Uh, I'm very, I'm very thankful for the opportunities that I've had and the opportunities that I still and I do have and the opportunities that I will have in the future. Something I want to go ahead and tell you guys is that, yeah, I just got a new job. <laughs> I got a new job. I literally just got the job offer yesterday morning so pretty much just to go back a year ago okay there was this company that i applied to um and the only reason i and the only reason i applied to this company it's a it's actually a big name it's a name that every person shouldn't know i mean they're huge they've been around for over 40 years they have their products literally all around the world in india and asia i believe australia mexico south america um they have it here all over the, their products in the united states Canada, um, they're big celebrities that I'm pretty sure that you know about that have been part of that product or done something with that product at least. And you know, and, and I applied to the company and I didn't think it, anything would happen. I just casually did it. You, when I got my first job as a developer, I barely knew HTML, CSS. I knew no JavaScript. I didn't even know jQuery, right? Um, and I was shocked that they gave me the job. And I remember that first year was a huge learning experience because I just dived into the industry. I'm mean, well, working at my first developer job. I learned so much. I am able, I know how to build a website from scratch, you know, static websites and HTML, CSS. I know from like the back of my head, JavaScript was something that honestly took me like a year to learn. And what's crazy is that this company that my first developer job, I mean, they gave me an opportunity to learn on the job and that's not usually normal. And I learned JavaScript on the job. And even though when I didn't know anything, you know, I had people I can ask. And even if I didn't know something, and even though a specific project takes such a long time to do, they would still be lenient with me and be understanding. And they took me in as a junior. I never thought I would get paid what I was paid at that job. I was happy there. My manager, Tony, is simply amazing. Um, when I think of my manager at that company, like he would always have our backs, he would protect us, he would speak up for us, he would, you know, really raise us up and make sure that they know that we're doing good work. I just felt that my time at that company, my first developer job, I felt like, you know, I kind of maximized what I could potentially do. Now, I'm not complaining, I was thankful because it allowed me to build a strong foundation in my skill set as a front end developer at that company. But I just felt like I, my growth, I maximized my potential at that company. I just felt like my time was up. I felt like it was time to move on. When that company contacted me and asked me if I was still interested, I was honestly, um, I was shocked. Because a year ago, one year ago, okay, one year ago, I applied, actually 11 months ago, and you know, I went to three interviews. The first interview, which was a phone, a Skype interview, second interview in person, um, he gave me a coding test, and then the third interview, and yet they didn't give me the job, and my heart was broken. And I remember at that time when they didn't give me the job, I remember thinking like, man, I must suck. I'm really not that good. Why do I have a YouTube channel talking about code? I'm really not that good. And I remember thinking maybe coding isn't for me. I remember literally the moment I thought that, thought that because I was driving and I was getting to the ramp um, to go back into my driveway to park. I remember thinking that exact thing. But then I remember telling myself, 
It's okay if you don't do well. It's okay if you mess up. It's okay if you don't get the job. It's through these, that interview, it's through their failures, that's how you become better. And so I made a goal and I was very determined from that point on to really become a better developer. And I could honestly say my skill set now compared to a year ago, especially in JavaScript, was not even comparable. Even just the last couple months, technical director was like, whoa, Chris, like your JavaScript skills are insane. They've been getting a lot better. Why? Because I've been focusing on improving that asset of mine. So this company, uh, I didn't even do a coding test at all. They know I, I can code. They do like a lot that I'm actually working with Vue.js and it's something I'm very passionate about. Um, when I interviewed with them, I made sure to make known that I am someone that's very passionate about code and I love coding and I like talking about code. And more than that, I love helping people get jobs in the industry, which is why I started this channel. And they saw that passion and they, uh, I think that's what they saw, I don't know, but uh, the interviews went well and the CEO that I spoke with is amazing. We got along. We even talked about like our camera gear. He's a photographer. He does photography. We're talking about just technology and he's and what I love about this company that hired me. I feel like these are people that I can really get along with. These are people that I can trust and these are people that I would enjoy working with and building something for this company. This huge company. Um, and so yeah, they gave me the job. And the company that I'll be working with now, it is a company that honestly, I would like to stick with and really work my butt off to become the best developer possible. I, uh, guys, I, I, I'm not trying to make this long at all and I'm so sorry if it feels that long, but what I want to say, what I do want to say, and this is important, I could think of how many times I wanted to give up. I could think of how many times I wanted to stop coding because I felt like at my company, I wasn't as valued as I should have been. Right? That maybe coding wasn't meant for me because when I look at everyone on YouTube or people who even watch my channel and all of the negative comments on YouTube and, and for me to get the job that I just got offered yesterday, for me to be at the position where I'm at, for me to say that I am a front end engineer at this company, for me it's huge. One thing that keeps me level headed um, as I'm growing this channel and as I'm getting growing as a developer, I think of one word. Right? And if you were to ask me, one thing that I feel at this moment is gratitude. Um, I feel thankful because I know where I started from. I know how difficult life was for me. I know where I began. I know how my life was before this YouTube channel. I know how difficult life was. I remember even people in my own actual family. Uh, you're not going to have a future. You're going to waste your life. I mean, they have all these thoughts to me. My own brother doesn't talk to me. It sucks. Growing up, I've had a difficult life. But knowing how hard life was, and knowing where I am now with no degree, but pure hard work. How I want to end this video is that you guys can do it. You can make a difference in your life. You can do something huge, but you have to be willing to work hard. And that's what I love about this industry. Those who become a developer, the only way to make it aren't through your work. That's not by speaking nice words or the people who are able to become a programmer, a software developer, backend developer, whatever you call it. It's because of simply two words, hard work, one word, Hustle, three words, never giving up. I think that's why self-taught developers are so valuable because not just anyone can do it. And so for everyone watching this, man, don't give up. All this happened because I just started to do it. So keep coding guys, but thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. But thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet, but I love you all. This is Chris Sean. This is a life for a developer. And I'm out. Peace.